Ghana, land of freedom, freedom, Ghana, we now have freedom, everybody, soils of the brave, and the soils of the labor, soils of the brave, it's a broad freedom, yeah, soils of the brave, and the soils of the labor, soils of the brave, with a broad freedom, in so we may, Ghana, eh, land of freedom, freedom, Ghana, eh, we now have freedom, everybody, soils of the brave, and the sweat of the labor, soils of the brave, with a broad freedom, yeah, soils of the brave. Ghana gained her political independence on 6 March 1957 from British colonial rule. The country is located on the west coast of Africa. Ghana has very rich cultural heritage that dates back to medieval Ghana times from the 4th to the 13th centuries. As the saying goes, culture is the way of life of the people. With our of the and the sweat of the of the with a broad result, ah, souls of the breed, and the sweat of the aliba, souls of the breed, with a broad result, Kwamba Yangwe, Ghana, eh, land of freedom, freedom, Ghana, Abba, we now have freedom, everybody, souls of the Ghana as a country can boast of very rich culture from over 100 tribes, indigenous and contemporary artifacts of exceptional intriguing philosophical values and qualities. Basically, an artist is a person who creates, who demonstrates, who practices art itself. Art comes in different forms. Um, you can either improve on an old design, or you can create your own design, or you can develop an idea into a new design. So it comes in different forms. It all depends on the artist and what they're thinking at the moment when they are creating. To my understanding, you can be inspired by anything. Artifacts can come in the form of nature, fiction, your own imaginations. When it comes to art, we are all inspired to create. Therefore, we take inspiration from either the air, water, sky, sea, it could be anything you find inspiration in. You can even take inspiration from your own sweat to create something that becomes meaningful in your eyes and you can interpret it to the world as well. So comparing our art industry to the rest of the world, I believe that Ghanaians are really talented. We are extremely talented. Naturally, we are artists in every way. Even the layman on the street has no idea they have some form of art in them because it shows in our way of life, in what we eat, in what we say, in how we live, in um, how we organize ourselves, how we demonstrate what we have to the rest of the world. Therefore, once we are projected out there, we stand out, which is amazing. Ghanaians have art that nobody can take away from us. If you compare what we have to offer to the rest of the world, we stand out. But the question is, are we accepted out there? 
how we project ourselves. Do we fit into the rest of the art world? Because if you could really um, take a look at what the rest of the world has to offer, you would realize that there is something more important attached to the Ghanaian art because the history behind it is solid. The story behind it is solid. Nobody creates without a good story. We have a great storyline all the time, which sinks in to the lame man anytime, any day. So why can't we also enjoy the same privileges, the same kind of um, um, charges, the same kind of benefits the artists around the world are experiencing? It is be because we don't even accept what we have in the first place. As the saying goes, a person is not respected in their own space. You can step out there and be the king and people would see you as being the richest. But guess what? In your own country, you are not even acknowledged. So my question is, what are people in high places doing for the art world in Ghana? Because we bring in a lot of revenue. If they would follow and be truthful to themselves statistically they would realize that art is not all about music it's not all about poetry it's not all about um, people dancing art is an expression and the artist expresses themselves way better than all these other forms because it is physical and you can touch and feel and even put yourself into exactly what you see and what you're feeling. If I take a look at what other people have to offer out there, it's because everything is done by hand. It is bespoke and it is respected. In our part of the world, if you work it with your hands, you are the least respected. Because people don't even see the creativity. They don't see what you put into it. The thoughts, the time, the efforts, the practical effect of what you're doing. All they see is they find it so simple. Because you make it look so simple and it comes out so quickly and so well. They think it should be the cheapest thing around. But guess what? That should be the most expensive thing. Because machine and hand are two different things. What one can create with their hands, it's totally different from what a machine would reproduce. A machine can reproduce so many times, but hands can only keep recreating, redeveloping. It can even produce better as it keeps moving. Therefore, the education of our people must be key. People must be educated and be encouraged to realize that we have what nobody else can take away. And what we have can take Ghana anywhere because we can bring in so much revenue which will push our economy forward. Arts can be taught, it can be learned, it's also a talent. But guess what? If you combine them all together, you will be a force to reckon with. The Center for National Culture is an agency under the National Commission on Culture that oversees the promotion of Ghana's cultural activities and preservation at the district and regional levels. <laughs>
Jada, to ya o to amare ke ma te wa ti o e. The visual arts include symbols. Paintings. Cultures. Ceramics. Textiles. and architecture. The auditory arts are music. Oh, hello, Miss Sister Mia. <laughs> oh. Okay, hey, get to me. Oh, I'm going to go. It's Oh, why was it the very fast mama? I'm not going to go. I'm going to go. Hey, and so on. If you may, you could see the bosom in my soul. And spoken literature. She wears the smile of a proud daughter with a future promising with laughter. Ghana, my own. Ghana, your own. The estate of cocoa, timber, and gold. Allow me to talk about my legend. The legend of legends. The Lion King of the land of Africa. Performance arts include film. <laughs> Okay, no <laughs> Theater. Heavens! Hey. Hey. Yes, truly an unhappy woman! Dress hey. is the reign of betrayed passion! Hey. Hey. Here now she comes. Mm. Pray, mm. be gentle with her in thoughts and in deeds. Mm. <laughs> These can be either visual, auditory, or a combination of visual and auditory that are performed. Visual arts forms in the country may be found at two main places. These are the arts galleries mostly located in Accra and Kumase, and the wayside art and craft studios located in many towns and villages in the country. The center is promoting the arts in general through various programs that we, ADA, we handle. We have these programs we organize as Sankofa Drama Festival for the second cycle schools. Every year that's at the, towards the ending of February. And then we have senior uh, high school uh, children too for the uh, storytelling. Yes. 
and then we also do exhibitions for the visual artists okay. so that to promote the art and culture as a whole. Yeah, most of us has got markets that we generate income internally. That's when then we pay 66% to government, whilst we retain only 33% for the administration. Well, the future is great if only government come to our aid, because we need financial assistance. And if government should hear our destiny and come to our aid, we can promote the Ghanaian culture both far and near. About our culture, what I don't see of late is about cleanliness, cleaning your environment, which was part of the Ghanaian, the Ghanaian. It's your attitude, you wake up to it. Every morning you see broom everywhere, busy. Either male or female, you see people sweeping, cleaning our environment. These days, you don't see it. We even live up to the front of our homes, waiting for government to clean. So you hear companies like Zoom Lion and the rest, cleaning, and people blaming government for choked gutters when it's supposed to be our responsibility. We also have our way of dressing, where we cover ourselves very well. Yes, we are in the sun, but we don't have to expose ourselves. We cover ourselves, our nakedness we cover. But these days, you don't see it. We have a lot of excuses, people telling you that it's about weather, it's about uh, climate change, and you have to dress as such. That one is gone. You see someone and you know where he's coming from, even our clans. It tells us who you are, your age, and the way you dress. But now, you don't even know who is coming from where. We wear anything and we are in the streets, exposing ourselves. That is not good. And also, our cooking. Now we are in a hurry. Every day, we are all over the place. So we want fast food. Those days, we value our ports, the everywhere. Even water, you drink from our coolers. You know, it becomes so cool. And then we have these our traditional palm branches. We use them to clean this thing. And when you drink from it, you feel you are in heaven. That is Ghana for you. You know, you have visitors acquire, but what do you bring? You bring your pots with water. We don't value it anymore. We cook from our pots and you leave this aluminum uh, cooking pots. But these days, that's what we like. And the worst of it is that we don't even cook from home. Anything goes. We grab anything here and there, and we are off. I think we have to go back. And then when you get home, you know you are home. But now, we love houses. So you just get there, and there's no food. But in Ghanaian home, there will be food. Yes, I want GBC to assist um, government agencies like the Center for Arts and Culture, and other organizations that are trying to bring the Ghanaian identity, our culture, back. Because what is heritage? Is it not um, our way of life that we pass on from generation to generation? So this must not die down. What I want GBC to do is to have program throughout the year telling Ghanaians who we really are and adding on to it what we can do to make our culture fit into the changes that are coming up. And we keep our culture, and our culture speaks for ourselves. The significance of the visual arts in the cultural life of the typical Ghanaian is exceptionally high and very much admired by other nationals across the globe. The arts have consequently attracted many multinational firms, especially those in the advertising and textiles industry in the country, according to a research by Anku and Edu Ajem 2012. Despite the country's rich indigenous culture of philosophical values, the Ghanaian populace show less interest when it comes to patronage of traditional Ghanaian artifacts and products. Studies show that only 36% of Ghanaians compared to 64% of non ghanaians mainly from the diaspora including African Americans and tourists from Europe and Asia, patronize Ghanaian traditional artifacts. Statistics in recent times show that the volume of consumption of these artifacts that are patronized during festivals like the Pan-African Festival, Panafest, and other expositions by the African Americans and other tourists far outstrips that of the indigenous Ghanaians. Art is intensively and extensively part of Ghanaians and therefore easy to identify a genetic link between anthropology and visual art forms consumption in Ghana. Art essentially is about 
the understanding of a particular subject or culture of a people with extreme intensity. Circuits that are known to identify through the art from Ghana directly associate with the anthropology of the region. The meaning of the art is the audiovisual and hard copies of documented parts of the past of Ghana depicting the present and the future. Always give this to them because I'm an artist. Everywhere I want to be, you know, I want to project art. I want to make, I want to hype art. I want to make uh, art be the issue that we are living. Because me, as a, as a, uh, as a Nipana Mijahama, from my head to toe, is art. I love art. And the entity of Amam Benia Beria, me too art, me bought art to the room, me too, me too, and I'm more enriching penny for me, drawing penny for. Ghana presidents, any the former president, any any the ministers, me do do any any one one did the you must so in but Mr. Shet Nimjena Ukraina said, Uncle Omina, Omina Timno, said the Bill Mine, Kromo, dear, not no more brand new year now, or more day Tom or Impono Cotton Painting, on top, but two Jack of Head. I know a crumple, a bois, a minor, or particular Bibi Salon. And Tisana come in, say, Yanson, eh, a mania sound would be like our culture centers and then art centers, no. Which me, Enya sa uh, artista, uh, 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 where I am memo. Nanke, ya bring it out histo historical paintings like you can paint before anyone now. Obey on my dear Bino, I did the na uh, a con like senior young yes, yes, this is your moment. We can paint them with particular uh, strength of painting. Uh, at the Crimea. Elizabeth, oh, Matriha. Then so here the Crimea, where your African art. Ah, we here mommy, Mother Africa. Yeah, yeah, Ghana art. Ah, we here mommy, and then you want her. Oh, or then the bar bar go actually in the team. Ah, we here a more inspiration, a casau, a more a a a a more different concept. Ah, a bit me ask some boy more to make quite a share from from Africa. Into me, we may have Africa, I Ghana art, na Ghana art, in tumpo, in tumpo, in po awa a a from my mo. What I've just drawn here is an about an African woman going to the riverside and fetching water and taking it home. And I started my art when I was very little, at the age of. 10, 10 years. Um, my father is an artist who just do it for fun. My senior brother took after him, brother took over from my senior brother. And I think we should promote African art because African art is unique. And any time that I get to paint, I get excited, excited about what I'm doing. I really paint well when I'm emotional. I get excited after finishing the painting and everything going on well. For me, art is not an ordinary thing. It's about creativity, something special. The indigenous art is strongly recognized by these philosophies and the traditions of the past. The exposure of the visual arts is therefore one which is not only distinguished by the latest works and trends that are within the Ghanaian cultural milieu. More importantly is the link to the social and cultural structures which many identify with when looking at different artifacts. The artwork of Ghana is therefore one of the regional artifacts that continue to be exposed through indigenous and contemporary works. In Ghana, traditional visual arts are broadly identical or recognized as African productions. Examples like Edinkwa and Agama symbols, brass or gold weights, Ekwiaba or fertility doll and the kente cloth. 
are often classified as African artifacts in general. So for instance, we all do believe that Ghana has one of the best, if not the best, hand-woven fabric, kinti. It's very famous around the world. In Ghana, you only see people use it during uh, marriage ceremonies and when they are attending um, historic functions. But guess what? Out there in America, it is used as a sash of honor when people are graduating from higher education. And what do we do down here? We put ribbons around our necks. How do we expect to be acknowledged? When we ourselves do not acknowledge what we have. If you take the movie Wakanda, it's amazing how they portrayed royalty using our own Edinkra symbol fabric in Tiamu to project how royalty could be. It looked good and people admired. But why are we ourselves as a people not projecting what we have so people can sing the right tune about what we have rather than then taking it and using it in their own way when they don't even understand what the history about that fabric is. We have to teach them so they can use it the right way so we don't get upset when we see them using it instead of us admiring and say, oh, we saw it in the movie, we should rather be saying, yes, this is our culture, and this is how it is done, and this is how it is worn. One of my proud moments as an artist was when um, I exhibited some of my products at the New York Now in Javits Center in New York City. And the biggest fashion icon in the world, Iris Apfel, walked into my booth and patronized a necklace which had a piece of kente. She had read about it but had never seen how it looked or how it felt. It was amazing to see how she paid the highest bidder just to own that particular necklace. Think about it. We must appreciate what we have. We must own what we have. And we must be proud to show the world what we have to offer as Ghanaians. What are we doing as a people? What is the stakeholders? What are they doing to bring the education to the level of the younger ones so we catch them young, so they know what it is about before they even get to grow up. So they know the history. Nobody comes to tell our history for us. We tell our history for them to pick on and use. We shouldn't sit down for people to pick our history. Tell us what it should be about when even the history is not told the right way. Are we seeing that? No. We also sit here and wait for people to come and take our fabrics out there and print them and bring them back to us to buy and use when it is not purely made in Ghana. They have just taken our own motives. What are the authorities doing about that? Today, people are being arrested. Tomorrow, they are released. But the truth of the matter is, it doesn't change what is happening. As a people, we term ourselves to have African wear. What is the meaning of that? We should rather be describing European way. Because what we have as an African continent is not African way, it's our everyday lives. That's what we wear every day. So it's our way of life. We should rather be differentiating this from ours. European way, American way, and ours is our way of life. If we consider that, then we would know that we have to wear it every day, not on Fridays. It should be every day African, not specifically on Fridays. And that will create more employment for the locals. It will also project Ghana out there for people to know that we respect and we adore what we have. 
We are proud Ghanaians. We are truly special. When we had our year of return, why did they all want to associate themselves with Ghana and want to be Ghanaians? Own Ghanaian passports, own ones here, live with us. Think about it. We are special and we must maintain our culture. Our way of life is what moves the world. Don't forget, we are in the center of the world. And everything in the center is the best. So, when you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror, know that you are special from a very special place called Ghana. And you must do everything in your power to maintain that culture, to maintain that special offer that God has given us. How do we maintain what was left for us. We must go back to eating from our earthenware bowls. We must wear what we produce. Our local beads, not what is coming from China. We must wear what our traditional leaders and our traditional people have been doing. A henima, not what is coming from somewhere else. We must continue to educate our young ones in school. To know the difference between what was produced here and what is coming from out there. We must, as stakeholders, educate our people, especially filmmakers, to go back to our roots and learn what our forefathers were doing as a people and portray that in our movies, not pick another country's culture and incorporate it into our movies. It doesn't work that way. We don't wear chains on our foreheads. We wear our local beads. We don't wear other people's beads. We do not put on cloth that shows vital parts of our bodies. We cover up. If our filmmakers would go back to that, we will portray what we have to the world as it is, not as adapted. In addition, we must go back to what the Ejako Limos, the Nanam Pedus style of music and incorporate it to what is in vogue now. We must do it the right way so we don't lose track of our culture. We must eat what we grow and grow what we eat. In those days when we had backyard gardens, we must go back to that. We must go back to eating fresh from our farms. In this era where COVID is in our midst, our stakeholders, when it comes to music, must only encourage music that is of Ghanaian origin. With a twist, that's fine. But not pick somebody else's style of music and just impose it on the people. It will change our way of lives. If you ask me, we must continue to maintain what our forefathers taught us. So we do not lose our culture to the Western world. Because then we will be a people without a history, a people without a culture. We would just be as one of those in the world. We are special and we must maintain that. Currently the made in Ghana products as business is going down as compared to the previous years. Uh, when During this time, we normally make sales, but as we speak, the business is really down. Uh, maybe it might be COVID and then the people are not patronizing our works. So I think that is the main reason why our market is down now. For now, I think we should patronize our made in Ghana products. We don't, we don't, we don't patronize them because I don't know because we don't, we don't put value on them. We must patronize them and put value on our products, Ghanaian made in Ghana products. It is not expensive at all. That is the perception we have, but it is not. 
Um, when you come here, we get uh, products. For instance, bracelets, we have as low as two CDs, three CDs uh, products that you can get here. This is the official shop of the art center where we give individuals the opportunity to, uh, to advertise their product. We sell it on commission basis. We take 20% of every sales that we made and we pay their 80% at the end of every month to, uh, back to them. We do that to encourage individuals who do not have shops to market their made in Ghana products in order to encourage them. The name is Sasa Creation and I deal in fabric accessories. Fabric accessories is like using fabric, African prints, to design the earrings, necklace, jewelry or bag. And what we do here is to use the fabric in creating so many things. You can have like an old version, but we use the fabric to create a new version for it. And a sample is what I'm holding. This is a headband, but it's in the form of tie. This like this, you can use it anywhere. It's very stretchy. It can fit each and every hair. You can use this one uh, during uh, church, during church section, maybe wedding or any program. It's fit to go. And what I'm wearing to is hair donuts. This is pre-tied donuts. You can tie it, but this is already pre-tied. Easy to go donuts. <laughs> and I think. Made in Ghana have come to stay and we are really hoping to take it worldwide. Though it has gone far, but we really want to extend it to a different level. So what we pray for and what we ask you is to purchase Made in Ghana. Made in Ghana is the product that can support Ghana and any other thing that is in Ghana. And buying from us will like bring a circle of jobs. It will create, when you buy from me, you can go and sell them. You also create yourself a job. I can also go and buy the fabric from the wholesaler and also create like, it's just like a circle of uh, job opportunity. So we hope and pray that each and every Ghanaian, not only Ghanaians, but the worldwide should purchase made in Ghana goods. leather <laughs> A local leather, a dear drums, a dear papua, a dear many things, wallets, sandals, ring, a dear. My is a good leather, it's a local leather, the tongue has see. So, we'll be out no more penny now, one more than a mumbra, Baba Toby. You're different, different, yeah, and tall, a best say, yeah, yes, Paul. My biscuit and the business in a back of form. Hmm. So that's uh, right. I said business. Uh, sorry, look at letters later. I see. Uh, yeah, yeah, this way, red one. That one already do it. It's a handworking. But yeah, yeah. I'm with the bags, sandals, about many things. I'm with the. So that's right. Be our open letter umbra at center. When you be, I say at all. You know what? The first time when I came Kalungu the she, Anna Kalungu Anna tackle my the she, Anna box the she. And a drum for my dashi. I quit fat, I quit a quit a ragu, I quit a shanu, I quit my antelope, I quit my fat on the aka yara, I can hand, I have a hand, I can hand me, I can shake it on fat, a jar, the puma kales and ankales, the bond the bomb, to call the gates to Kazu Kasa Munanga. So Munaru on Jama, I do much for I can, I can hand no sooner name on fat as soon as soon now. The art center, Muki, a down soon, no color, I can check on name on our leather work. Cash will not cut them by a queen number, Duca, Kaluka, some fat and decay, so Duca, eighty dish. The Zomar of Ponja, I will conceive a fat and yard or Diane Lucas, one yard, Casa, so Mona, Rocon Kujama, Duma, so fat, fat, eighty, not a calmi, not bark, not fuluna, Duca, but Duca, and I eat the she. So Mona of Ponco, Kuku, Kadi, Jama, Kuzu, Kusi, Mona, and Kumamuna, Cassani, so say, Mona of Ponja, we have Kuku, Kari, Kuzu. Oh, so see at the time that I'm going to find a because I'm shy and I'm looking very unique, different crowd. I'm out of them, I'm out of the crowd to me at the time that I project you very well to go for a see at the time that I'm going to find a new person I'm saying with different Babylon colors. Yeah, we know it's authentic. Yeah, for Africa. So see at the time that I'm unique, we'll be on check. 
I be bo obi I be bo o man no so ye sha ye sika no e be ka o man we mu a I be bo an nti e wose ye mpeni for no mo bo a no mo bie factory na bo a ye o man no obi an ti minye chuma ye cause time dai de o ye a e bo a international work anye Ghana nko an obi bia I had at center at first and I had so me kasama great accra art and craft dealers association ye to art art ni ama wa ha ye wa paintings wa ha ye wa carving wa ha and uh, you yeah, are different, different, different. Uh, at least, we uh, say, we see, we feel, papa be, 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 be nicer. We uh, me baha, I be, she, 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 and yama, we uh, debate to, we de mo. Ah, it me ma ho efe. Ah, reception, and uh, hotel reception, kra. We uh, me be tobia, ama. We uh, di she, 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 and yama, we uh, de mo ha, and ma ho efe. Problem is there for two years now, since COVID started, uh, started here. Uh, your business they are bad down because they don't know how much toy niyama. Do Ghana for so toy niyama, Ghana for toy niyama. We call hotel, we call we call for fear. How much toy niyama? But they don't know how much toy niyama. How much foreigners are? How much toy in bar? No one be say oh, my mean top be in free Ghana and coffee ah. Me the two me them one. Obi kura be sama oh. I dare we me turn one Ghana. But I see ah, we call for two coin it. I'm my business no. I bad down, I bad down pal. But. Still, as in today, yeah, yeah, we have still business is going. Yeah, still, yeah, yeah, business no, but a business are quite down. Two to two years now. You see, ah, niyama ukoye, uba ha shots be bri or matu. You see, ah, there, I go and say, yeah, business now, nah, yeah, business now. Nah, don't do no more moto yeah, niyama ni amu foreigners. But also, yeah, catch a gun and force. Niyama no, I wah, eh, yeah, yeah, mama niyama. Niyama for phone unko ana umbe juice. Inti, eh, yeah. Amunya chance, amun bra at center ha na umbe mifu. Ne ewa niama ewa ha enye se ni boye disa e fufu fufu a niama bi brinso ewa ha no. Etina homa ubi bini ana ye daily daily se na ubi bini eti ubi bini kuma niama bi brinso ewa ha no ewa mini a umbe mifu ubi chere oni mini a udi tu udi ama f enti ewa mu ana umu afa ha umu ba at center ha umu mifu niama. One be talk about be share. Oti mo say oh adi wey di next month minyaska. Let me have a toy. I be share me dem kona. The question is, how do we preserve the cultural heritage passed on to us by our forefathers and from us to the next generation? The the heritage month should be extended throughout, and then uh, throughout the year we should uh, organize programs that will promote our culture, that will let the youth get to know actually who we are. What people should be looking out there for? That is through our Ghanaian culture. Yes, like some of our norms and other activities are being not recognized by the youth. This of this, this. They do their own thing. They recognize eating different cuisines. <laughs> And that is not part of us. We should go back to our roots. And then respecting our elders as our cultural discipline. We should respect our uh, elders. And also in terms of even serving our elders, serving people. Most of these our youth don't even know how to serve. They come around and just give things anyhow to elderly people. Some of our culture, we have to bend down a little before presenting something. All those th things should be revisited so that our youth should be doing those things, especially respecting our elders. And then don't uh, talk rudely to your, your elders. No matter what you say, the elder say, the elder is right. Whether wrong or right, the elder is right. But the youth of these days will argue with an elder without even thinking. Don't even think that he's he or she is speaking to an elderly person. And our clothing, we wear some even say, I'm aware, it's still not gone. We should rest, we rec we go back and make sure we dress decently. Our greatest challenge is our own people patronizing what we have. We must appreciate what we have. We do not appreciate, therefore, um, patronage is low. Secondly, our policy makers must take a greater look at how best they can make ease up things for um, the creative industry. It's not all about music, 
and it's not only about movies but for those artisans that also bring in one of the highest revenues were in terms of foreign exchange you know in terms of exporting to the rest of the world the very great challenges even now that everybody has gone digital how are we supposed to be selling to the people out there when PayPal doesn't work in Ghana unless you have accounts out there how are we supposed to um, engage bias when even our own policymakers are encouraging foreigners to take what belongs to us to their country, reproduce and bring it back to our own people to buy. How would they appreciate what we produce as a people? In terms of other people picking our designs and reproducing and copyrights not working. This goes for our policy makers. It's about time they restructure things to make things different and work better for us in this industry. It is appalling to see that something that is so traditional to us, someone can just pick it and reproduce it and bring it back to our own field and sell it to us. You can't blame the layman of patronizing. If it doesn't come in, they would not buy. So why not stop it and encourage them to buy what is produced in here? It's unfortunate that they would rather defend those that are coming in because of the grants they bring into our country. But guess what? It is ruining us as a people, as the government is always talking about employment for the youth. This does not create employment. It's only making people homeless. Because when people have worked hard, have learned and are producing locally, and nobody is patronizing, because people are bringing much cheaper items in, which are of lower quality, into our system. How do you expect them to survive? Our policy makers, that's where it starts from. Education in our schools. Our policy makers, I will not stop saying it. Our policy makers, you must take a second look at our industry, the creative industry, specifically artists, artifacts, dressmakers, carpenters, people that are producing things that can be used locally. We must make life easier for them so they can employ more, so they can help ease the burden on the government in terms of employment. It's very critical, very, very critical. I also believe that it's a greatest challenge when people who produce local lightings and we keep hounding made in Ghana products, made in Ghana products, do not even have where they can exhibit those products for the rest of the country to come and see and patronize. For even people to move from other countries to come in and patronize. Nobody says that there shouldn't be a redevelopment. But before you think redevelopment, you must also think where you would move these people to. So they stay in business as you redevelop. It's unfortunate that the industry is going down because people do not have the space to work for, to sell from. It costs money to even exhibit. It costs so much money when it can cost cheaper if the space was available. Our stakeholders, our policy makers, they must take a second look at how best they can help the local artisans to have space that they can work from. So it would ease their burden. So it will be easier for people to locate them to patronize from them. So as we speak now, the only trade fair we'd have in Ghana, which is the Ghana International Trade Fair site, does not exist anymore. So where do the locals go to exhibit? 
our policy makers should have thought about creating another space, a temporal space for that, before they thought about redevelopment in that area. Our center will soon cease to exist. CICAPS will also soon cease to exist. So where do all these artisans go? I believe that there is vast land around the country and they could have easily created a new temporary space for these people to move there until redevelopment is done and then we take it from there. But if you take the food from the mouth of the people, then we are asking for trouble in the near future. Our policymakers must sit up and take the bull by the horns. It's not about who is bringing which grant in. It's about your people. If your people are not happy with what is happening around, then there is no peace. We must create that environment that is favorable for businesses to thrive. You keep encouraging that people should become entrepreneurs. And there are more women entrepreneurs in Ghana than most countries in, around the world. So what are we doing to support these entrepreneurs and support these artists? Our policymakers must take a second look at how best we can rectify the situation. It would help everybody and it will create more employment. It will also solve all these problems of having so many young ones on the streets. It would create employment, as I keep saying. It would create employment and we will all pay our taxes regularly and support our country grow. For instance, for this Heritage Month, so-called Heritage Month, you must make it a point to buy something Ghana, wear something Ghana. <laughs> Eat something, guy. Drink something, Ghana. Visit something, Ghana. This would always remind you of the fact that Ghana is special and we are special and we have a great culture. It should continue from there, just like I said. It's an everyday thing. The aesthetics of indigenous visual art forms and artifacts that exude the powerful cultural values and historical experiences of the country are displayed to mark special festivals, derbies, rites of passage, as well as honoring our visitors. Yes, you have heard it all for yourself. We spent some of the traders um, lamenting the fact that we should patronize made in Ghana products. And so we encourage you to buy something made of Ghana. Then you are promoting jobs. You are promoting the development of this country. A word to the wise is not. My name is Diana Lord Fossey. We came to you all the way from the Art Center here in Accra. Thank you for watching. Oh. Ghana, land of freedom, freedom, Ghana, we now have freedom, everybody, soils of the brain, and the soils of their labor, soils of the brain, teach our progress, oh, yeah, soils of the brain, and the soils of their labor, soils of the brain, we have progress, oh, yeah, go be made, Ghana, eh, land of freedom, freedom, Ghana, eh, we now have freedom, everybody, soils of the brain, and the sweat of the labor, soils of the brain, we have brought brain salt, yeah, soils of the brain, and the sweat of the labor, soils of the brain, we have brought brain salt, yeah, soils of the brain, and the sweat of the labor, soils of the brain, we have brought brain salt, 
Souls of the breed and the sweats of the aliba. Souls of the breed with a broad race of Pampa and Guy. Ghana, eh, land of freedom. Freedom, Ghana, Abba. We now have freedom. Everybody, Souls of the breed and the sweats of the aliba. Souls of the breed with a broad race of Abba. Souls of the breed and the sweats of the aliba. Miss Yanga Raya Sassini, a board in Timae, Budana, no Shigun and the two Homae, and to me, was so so, say a baby, we are so so, Nimdian Tasso, Kuntokani, a pair, Semin Kumia, and the Emblem Oma, Oma, and the Hono, as of the Oma, no Sebe, Oma, no Sebe, Yes, and now all day, I'm on for running. Hey, I'm on for running.